Once upon a time, there was a peaceful temple called the Echoing Zen. It was in the middle of Japan, between two mountains. Its name hinted at the peace and knowledge that came from its old stone walls, which had seen many sunrises and sunsets and shone with dew and light at dawn and dusk. Two young monks called Hiroshi and Takashi lived in this austere but peaceful place together. Their Zen master, Master Ito, watched over them as they went on their spiritual journeys. Hiroshi and Takashi worked hard and tried hard at the things they did every day. They always did what they were supposed to do, and each tried hard to find enlightenment through meditation and thought. But while Hiroshi's soul was calm, like the still water in the abbey pond, Takashi's was more like a flickering flame. He was always looking for answers, asking questions, and probing the depths of his own existence. One windy afternoon, the two monks were in the courtyard of the temple. Their simple clothes were being whipped by the cold wind. Hiroshi watched as a red flag snapped in the wind, the sound bouncing off the cold stone of the abbey. See, Takashi, the flag is moving, Hiroshi said in a calm but strong voice, like the current of the river. Takashi, on the other hand, was not easy to persuade. He laughed, and his eyes lit up with joy. No, Hiroshi, he said. It's not the flag that's moving, but the wind. Usually quiet and polite, their voices now rang out across the courtyard and caught the attention of Master Ito, an old Zen master who was walking by. When he heard them fighting, he walked slowly but steadily towards the two monks. Master Ito heard as Hiroshi kept saying, Takashi, the flag is moving. Can't you see the flow and rhythm? Takashi, who was just as sure of himself, said, It's the wind, Hiroshi. Without it, the flag would be as motionless as a rock. Master Ito looked at the flag, and his eyes sparkled with an unfathomable wisdom. He then turned to the two monks. He said, not the wind, not the flag, mind is moving. His voice sounded like an old chant in the temple. Hiroshi and Takashi stopped arguing, as if they had forgotten about it. They looked at their master with looks that showed they were starting to understand what he had said. Then, with a new point of view, the two monks started to look at not only the world around them, but also the world inside them. They found that their minds were sometimes like a wild storm and sometimes like a calm ocean. They saw that their thoughts and actions were shaped not only by the outside world, but also by their own minds, which moved and changed like a flag in the wind. As they practiced control over their minds, Hiroshi and Takashi experienced a transformation. Hiroshi, who was normally as calm as the pond in the monastery, found the courage to question and explore the depths of his life, becoming more like his friend Takashi. Takashi, whose thought had always been moving around like a flag in the wind, found peace. He became more like Hiroshi in that he became calm and happy. This is the story of two monks, a flag, and a deep realization. Master Ito's wise words showed Hiroshi and Takashi that the outside world wasn't the key to how they thought and felt, it was their own minds. This realization set them on a road of self-discovery, and enlightenment, where they learned to control their minds, which led to peace, and understanding. This story is a reminder of how much power, and influence our minds have over our perceptions and reactions. It shows us that when life throws us a curveball, rather than focus on what's going on outside of us. Instead, we have to try to control what's going on inside of us. The lesson of this story is that our minds are how we see the world. So, if we can control our minds, we can control how we see things and how we respond to them. This will lead us to a path of peace, calm, and understanding.